Hey, this is Baja. One of the things we used to do when we used to have our physical meetings for Sarah's book club is attach an activity to the book that we were reading. So I wanted to go back and revisit a book that we've already read. If you haven't watched it, it's still on my page. It's called The Blessed Bananas. If you read along to The Blessed Bananas with us, there was a part in the story where Rico the monkey shared his bananas with the villagers. And in the story it says, they made breads, shakes, puddings, and all types of goodies with the fruit. In the back of the book, they have recipes. They have banana date shake, banana nut date bread, banana pudding, and banana ice cream. So in this video, I wanna make banana nut date bread. About a week ago, I purchased some bananas. Um, I was in the mood for bananas. They were nice and yellow. Um, I don't even think I got around to eating one. And, well. This is what my bananas look like today. Now, some people don't like to eat bananas when they look like this. I mean, they're a bit, well, they're a lot brown. <laughs> and they're softer than they were before. They're not mushy soft, but they're pretty soft. But they're perfect for making shakes or banana bread or pudding. Or you could just mash them up. Babies like them like this. Mashed up. They're a lot sweeter this way. So... These are the bananas that we'll be using for the banana bread. I think he's watching the birds or any bugs that climb around the window. <laughs> okay, so since this is since this is a children's book, I'm assuming that you know, parents and children are watching this video. But if you're a child watching this video, um, when it comes to the cooking part, if you want to cook, um, you need your parents' permission. I don't want you to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, so yeah, you need your parents' permission. Um, my youngest child is 13. He doesn't always need supervision in the kitchen but i like for him to have permission that way i'm aware that somebody is in the kitchen cooking and you know if i happen to smell anything that might be burning or anything like that you know it's already in my mind that he's in the kitchen cooking maybe i can if he needs my help i can come give him assistance so he's 13. i'm okay with him being in the kitchen without me being right there next to him sometimes you know if it's something simple but if he was younger let's see eight nine ten yes he would need um some direct supervision so if you are in that age group eight nine ten or however old your parents say that you need to be to have direct supervision you need to ask them to help you with making this banana bread. The first thing we're gonna do after you get permission from your parents is read the recipe. So we can do that now. Rico's favorite, banana nut date bread. The ingredients you will need, one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, two eggs, one stick of butter melted, two overripe bananas this is overripe ripe is just yellow green is not ripe yet yellow would be ripe um turning black is overripe so you need two overripe bananas mashed or chopped up five to six large pitted dates chopped up in small pieces when they say pit it, that means without the seed in it. Um, half a cup of chopped walnuts. You will always want to read through the recipe, the ingredients and the directions, just so you know ahead of time what's expected. Um, for the ingredients, when you read through the ingredients, you can make sure you have these things. 
don't have them, maybe you can run to the store and get them. Uh, the directions. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. Second thing is grease a nine by five loaf pan or line with parchment paper. I guess you can use any type of pan. I mean, it doesn't have to be in the shape of a loaf, like a loaf of bread. But if you have one, great. If you don't, you can improvise. Um, it says mix all the ingredients, mix, mix all the ingredients well, pour into the pan and bake for 40 minutes or until top is brown and toothpick inserted in middle comes out clean. One of the good things about banana bread is that you can make it in a lot of different ways. The recipes are here for you to follow, but if you wanted to add or subtract or substitute, um, like for example, I don't know if I want to put dates in my banana bread. The recipe in this book is banana nut date bread. And I don't know if I want to use dates. Not because I don't like dates, but maybe I would prefer something else. Okay, so once you read through the recipe, um, the ingredients, the directions, you want to start gathering all your items that you're going to need. So. I've done that, I'll show you what I have. So, I have my bananas, I have flour, salt, baking soda, my eggs, my butter. I do have dates, in case I do wanna make um, the banana nut date bread. I also have some chocolate chunks, in case I wanna add a little bit of that also. I have brown sugar. I have pecans and walnuts too. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna wash my hands. The oven gets set to 350 degrees. Bake. Mine's already. It's usually set to 350 already. Next, I'm going to take some oil and I'm going to grease my baking pans. I have my loaf pans. And I have my little muffin tin. So my pans are oiled. I don't need them yet, so I just sand them right over here. So right now, I'm gonna get ready to mix my ingredients. Okay, so the recipe says two overripe bananas. You can chop them or you can mash them. And the best part is because they're so soft, all you need is a fork. Once the oven is ready to go, so you can just mash two bananas. I'm gonna beat two eggs. Mm -hmm. 
In another bowl, I'm going to mix flour with one cup of flour. Mine is a half a cup, so I'm going to use two of these. One cup of flour. teaspoon of baking soda baking soda not baking powder baking soda and you have to use baking soda you might be able to swap out some ingredients like if I don't want to use dates um, I'll probably use chocolate chunks instead of dates or if I don't want to use walnuts I can probably use pecans instead of walnuts but you have to use baking soda you can't swap that out for anything so i need one teaspoon one teaspoon of baking soda This thing here is for you to level it up. So you don't want to scoop this. So you take it and you pull it across there and it levels it out. So now you have an even level of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. This is my half. There's no level on here. So the flour, baking soda, and salt all get mixed together. So now you can add uh, bananas. Or you know what? I'll add this to the bananas. Half a cup of chopped walnuts. I'm going to use the chocolate chunks just because it's easier for the dates you have to use a knife to chop. So, you don't need to do anything with these except for measure them out and pour them in. I'm not even going to measure them. I'm just going to put a little bit in here.
a little bit more. <laughs> All that's really left to do is to put this mix into the pan. So slide this over here. So this is ready for the oven. The oven is on 350 and it's going to bake for 40 minutes. 40 minutes later and we have banana bread. You should let your banana bread cool for a little while before cutting it. And just for the sake of the video, I just cut right into mine. It smells so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> For a little added sweetness or just an extra flavor, we like to add cookie butter to our banana bread. It's really good.
This is a green for an hour. Ready for the oven.